In our previous series of videos, we saw how the product, order, users, and promotions panel. While using we came across different data fields such as tax categories. Reasons for refund or return. Types of reimbursement. Shipping methods or categories. The configuration panel of the admin dashboard is that area of your store where you implement decisions about how you want your store to be set up. This is where you decide which shipping methods you offer, which categories you assign to the product, how you want currency displayed, and dozens of other settings. This video will walk you through making all of those configuration decisions and show you how to customize your Spree store to best fit your particular needs. Let's take a look at the configuration panel. Once you log in to the admin dashboard on the left hand you'll see the option for configurations. When you click on it you get the following options. At first, we will take a look at the general settings. In these settings, you can define the default currency for your store. The clear cache option lets you clear the stored content and data used to load pages faster. This function is helpful when the users face trouble in loading product images at store front end. To save the changes click on update. Let's move to the store. Spree Commerce offers multi-store support. This means that in a single Spree admin panel you can control multiple shops based on Spree. You can manage inventory and orders for two different stores. To list a new store, click on New Store. Here you need to add information such as name, URL, SEO title, meta description, meta keywords, the email address that will be used for mailing currency and the social media channels click on create and your new store is created this store option will be reflected while you are placing a manual order through order panel to assign a default store while placing a manual order click on default to edit any store click on edit to edit the details of the store and to remove any store simply click on delete to remove the store now let's move towards the tax category as with different variants of products we have different taxation categories. Here you can define tax categories as per your needs. This taxation category will be available while you are listing the products. And the tax amount will be automatically added in the checkout. To add a new tax category, click on a new tax category. Add the name of the tax category, tax code, and its description. You can also make a particular tax category as default which will select that particular tax category when you list your products. And click Create. Your new tax category will be created. To edit click on the Edit option on the right hand side and it'll take you to the Edit page. And to remove any tax category simply click on Delete and the category will be deleted. Now that your tax category is created you need to define tax rates for different states or countries. To do this we need to go to Tax Rates. Here you can see different tax rates created. To create a new tax rate, click on the new tax rate. Enter the name. Select zone. Rate, which needs to be in decimal value. For example for 10%, you need to write 0.1. And the tax category. Here you have the option to whether you want to include the tax in the price. Or have shown during checkout. And also whether you want to show the rate in label. Next, select the calculator which will accordingly calculate the tax. And click Create, your new tax rate will be created. To edit any tax rate you can simply click in Edit option on the right hand side and it'll take you to Edit page. To register any changes click on Update and your changes will be saved. To remove any tax rate simply click on, Delete and the tax rate will be deleted. As we saw we had to the option of, Zone while creating or editing a tax rate. This zone can be created in the Zones option. When clicking on the zone you see the list of created zones. To create a new zone click on, New Zone. Name the zone. Description. Whether the zone will be a default tax zone or not. And the type of zone. Here country based option will apply the defined tax rate across all the countries that you'll select in country section. You can have different zones of the country will different tax rates. But, in case you selling products only in one country, where states have different tax rates. Then select a state based option. You can select states in the states field. And you can multiple zones of different states selected, based on the rate of taxation. Once done click create and the zone will be created and the same will be available to select while you creating a new tax rate. To edit any zone click edit option and it will take you to the edit page. 
and in case you need to delete any zone simply click on delete and the zone will be deleted. Now that we have seen, how you can select countries and states for creating zones. We will look at how you can list a new country. When you click on the country you can the default list of countries that Spree has loaded as default. In case you need to list a new country. Click on the new country. Add its name. ISO names. And whether it'll require to have states or not. And click create. Your new country will be created. To edit any country, click on edit and it'll take you the edit page. And to remove any country simply click on delete. Now that you have your new country listed. You need to add states. To do this click on states. Here you can see the listed states by default for the selected country. To add a new state, click a new state. Add its name and abbreviation. And click create. The state will be added to the country. To edit any details of the state. Click on edit, to edit details of the state. To delete any state, click on delete and the state will be deleted. Now, that we have set stores, zones, tax rates, tax categories, countries, and states. We will look at the payment methods that Spree offers to integrate with your store. But before you configure the payments, you must first install the Spree Gateway extension on your store. After installing extension will you get the payment methods options under configuration. When you click on payment methods you see all the payment methods that are in use for your store or multiple stores. To add a new payment gateway click on the new payment gateway method. Select the provider of your choice. Here Spree offers more than 30 payment gateways to select from. Select which store you want the payment gateway for. Where do you want to display the payment gateway? Select whether you want to auto capture the payment made. Name and description of the payment gateway. And whether you want to have the payment gateway active or not. Once all information is filled in click on create. And your payment gateway is created. To edit any payment gateway, click on edit on the right hand side and it'll take you to edit page. To delete any payment gateway, simply click on delete and the payment gateway will be deleted. At this point your store is ready with the product listed, payments gateways assigned and taxation defined. Now let's see how to set up shipment. When you click on shipping methods, you'll see all the shipping methods that you have defined. To add a new shipment method, click on the new shipping method. Add its name. Where do you want the shipment method to be displayed? Internal name. Code. Shipment tracking URL shipping categories. Zones where the shipping method will be applicable. Calculator. Here, in the calculator, you have various options for calculating shipping rates. In order to add details here, you need to save the shipping method first. Click create to save it. Now select the option. Flat percent. The flat percent calculator allows you to calculate shipping costs as a percent of the total amount charged for the order. Flat rate. The flat rate calculator allows you to charge the same shipping price per order regardless of the number of items in the order. Flexible rate per package item. The flexible rate calculator takes four inputs, first item cost, the amount of shipping charged for the first item in the order. Additional item cost, the amount of shipping charged for items beyond the first item. Max items, the maximum number of items on which shipping will be calculated. Currency defaults to the currency you have configured for your store. The flat rate per package, calculator allows you to determine the shipping costs based on the number of items in the order. Price sack. The price sack calculator is a way to offer discount shipping to orders over a certain amount. The price sack calculator takes four inputs. Minimal amount. Normal amount. Discount amount. Currency defaults to the currency you have configured for your store. Any order whose subtotal is under is less than what you set for minimal amount would be charged a shipping cost of normal amount. Orders whose subtotals are equal to or greater than the minimal amount would be charged the discount amount. And then the tax category. Once information is filled in, click on update and your shipping method will be defined. To edit any shipping method, click on edit on the right hand side. This will take you to the edit page where you can make the changes. To remove any shipping method. Click on delete, and that shipping method will be deleted. This brings us to the end of the part 1 video of our configuration panel in Spree Commerce. Thank you for watching this video until the end. And stay tuned for part 2, where we will be looking at remaining options of configuration panel in Spree Commerce. Meanwhile, if you have queries about building a Spree Commerce store, then visit our website w3villa.com.
or send an email at contact at the rate w3villa.com.